Today we are learning a super simple go-to crochet stitch called the linen stitch, also known as the moss stitch. I'm going to teach you a slight variation though that I picked up from Dora Orenstein's book called Crochet Every Way. And it's just going to make it a little bit easier for you if you ever want to increase or decrease with this stitch. This sample was made using a fingering or sock weight cotton from Hobie Cotton Kings. And I'm gonna be using the same yarn, but in a different color for the sample. I also used a size E or 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. To start, like always, make your slip knot. And we are going to chain 22 for this sample. You can chain any number you like as long as it is a multiple of two plus two more. Now I am going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So not counting the one that's on my hook. I'm going to count one, two and single crochet directly into that chain. Now I'm going to chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet. And I will repeat this until I get to the end of this row, ending with a single crochet. Coming up on the end of my row, I have two stitches left. I'm gonna end with the single crochet in the last one. Okay, here's where it gets slightly different, nothing crazy. But we're gonna chain one, turn our work, and normally you would skip this first stitch, but we are actually going to single crochet directly into it. So this right here, that's the chain space. This is that last single crochet that we made. So I have my chain one and I'm gonna go right into that last stitch, yarn over, pull through and do a single crochet. And now I'm actually gonna do the same thing into that chain space. So we're starting this row off with two single crochets into the first stitch and chain space. Now I'm resuming my normal repeat and doing a chain one, skipping that single crochet, going directly into that chain space and performing a single crochet. And we'll repeat that until we get to the very end and we'll do the same thing where we end with two single crochets into the last two stitches. Getting towards the end here and you'll see I have this single crochet, <laughs> this eh, chain space, and then this single crochet right there. If you look at it from the top you can see it a little bit easier. One, two, three. So I'm going to skip this stitch like normal and then go into that chain space. And then I'm going to single crochet directly into that next single crochet. Now I'll chain one, turn, and we start the repeat over again from that first row. Go ahead and single crochet into the first one. And then we'll chain one, skip this one, and insert our hook into the chain one space. Something to be mindful of with this stitch too is that it's quite easy to accidentally insert your hook either through the single crochet or through the middle of the front of this stitch. See that? So just take extra care to make sure that you are actually going through the chain space itself.
And again, just repeating this until we get to the end of the row. And I'll run through the variation of that row the next row with you one more time as well. All right. So I chain one. This is the second row of the repeat. We're on our fourth row total now. Turn. And just like last time, I'll single crochet into the first stitch as well as in the chain space. Then I chain one and continue on as usual. Here I am at the end of this row. I have single crochet, chain, single crochet. I'm gonna skip this single crochet and then go directly into the chain space. Into the last single crochet. And then I begin again with the first row of the repeat. And if you do that for about 20 rows, you will end up with a swatch that looks something like this.